The first opportunity to get the Golden Vector in a few years is here, and there are a few days left. The Cartographer's Expedition Redux for No Man's Sky can be completed in just a few hours. I've put together this quick, efficient and concise guide to shave off all of the unnecessary running around. Firstly, be warned that this Expedition Redux will end on the 29th at around 11am UTC, so be sure to get it completed with all rewards claimed before then, in which it will switch to the last Redux Expedition until the 5th of January. For newcomers to Expeditions, you'll need to start a new save for this Expedition, as it is its own game mode, so start a new save and select the Expedition. Once you have initialized and gained control of your character, the first thing you're going to want to do is shoot some plants to gather 60 carbon. Then craft creature pellets. This planet is covered in dangerous fauna who will constantly be trying to kill you, so creature pellets are actually really useful just to get them off your back. But for the first one, feed it and then adopt it, completing companionship. Claim the rewards from companionship. You will need three of the five Gravitino balls. Now gather 100 carbon and 50 dihydrogen. Then craft two carbon nanotubes and one dihydrogen jelly. And install the terrain manipulator. This will complete Earth Mover. Claim the rewards from this and install the B-Class Mining Beam upgrade. Next, make your way to a cave and on the way scan every mineral, flora and fauna that you see. There are five fauna that are above water, so be sure to get these. If you're missing one, it's not an issue. We will need to find water later, of which there are three underwater, and getting two of those is quite easy, as we need six fauna total for a different milestone. Now, just outside the cave, making sure not to actually do this to any part of the cave because you will need to mine quite a few of those rocks, set your terrain manipulator to flatten and then just start clearing a load of terrain. Do this until it triggers Fear the Sun. Now claim Fear the Sun's rewards and install the S-Class Mining Beam upgrade. If your multi-tool has a supercharged slot, put the main mining beam in that, then make sure the other two upgrades are touching it. Now jump into the cave. At some point while you are in the cave, a storm should occur, at which point Foxhole will trigger. When it does, be sure to claim the reward and install the A-Class Hazard Protection Upgrade. In your exosuit while you're doing this, you should put the Hazard Protection in one of the supercharge slots, with all the modules touching around it, and then put the jetpack in the other one. Life support is also a good option. Now scan all of the minerals that are in the cave. This should trigger Geologist. Claim the rewards from this too. The caves on this planet should also have two different types of marrow bulb. Scanning these should also trigger the botanist. There is no need to claim the reward from this. Now start mining stalactites and stalagmites. For cobalt, you will need 726 cobalt. Any more won't help you, but you need at least 726. Once you've finished your mining in the cave, you'll want to start making your way to the ship. On the way to the ship, you'll want to mine 600 carbon, 880 ferrite dust, and 215 sodium. If at any point during this, a storm is happening, be sure to not stand still. Don't jetpack boost either, because this won't count. You'll want to sprint whenever you can and walk when you can't. This is during a storm. You'll need to cover 800U on foot during a storm to trigger Master of Elements. When that does trigger, claim the rewards and install the A-Class Life Support Upgrade. Once you've gathered the 600 carbon, 880 ferrite dust and 215 sodium, as well as travelled 800U on foot during a storm and made your way to your ship, jump in it. Then claim the rewards from Auto Diagnostics 1. Be sure to keep 4 of the 5 iron batteries you get from this reward. You have now finished pretty much all of the resource gathering for this entire expedition. Now we need to craft a few things, and this is most of the crafting as well. Craft 7 metal plating and 6 carbon nanotubes. Now get out of your ship and build the Minotaur Geo Bay. Wait for the Minotaur to Titanfall and then delete the Minotaur Geo Bay again to get the resources back. This will trigger Mechanical Man. Claim the rewards from Mechanical Man and install the Minotaur Tech. Being sure to put the engine upgrade and engine in the supercharged slots as well as the boost in the third. Now build a base computer and claim it. If you can't build a base computer, try and build it as close to your ship as you can. If there's another base there, then go the opposite side of your ship to that base and build as close as you can just walking away from that ship. This should enable you to build around your ship once the base has been claimed. Make sure you have your chromatic metal also in your inventory and not in the ship. Once your base is claimed, build 15 small floors. Claim the rewards from homecoming and then delete the 15 floors. Now build the Construction Research Unit. Purchase the teleporter from the Construction Unit, and then build the teleporter. Once Matter Transport is triggered, delete the teleporter. 
Now claim the rewards from matter transport. Now build three biofuel reactors and link all of them with wire. Charge each biofuel reactor with a single carbon. This should trigger power surplus. Claim the rewards from it. Now delete the three reactors. Then build one alloy wall with a large floor connected to the top of the wall shooting out toward you. Get close to the wall facing it and jetpack up it. This will not use your jetpack charge and provided you aren't trying to move forward it shouldn't move your character at all. You should just go up and essentially be hovering indefinitely. Do this until Rocket Man triggers. Now claim the reward from Rocket Man. Be sure to keep the storm crystals and install the jetpack upgrade. Now delete the wall and floor and build the signal booster. Use the signal booster to find a nearby place. Then pick up the signal booster and claim the rewards from Techno Signature. Build your portable refiner and put 200 of the sodium into it. You'll also of course need to charge it with a few carbon. While it's refining the sodium, craft 5 microprocessors. Once you have 100 sodium nitrate, pick up the portable refiner and build a large refiner. We're now going to refine a few things. Put your phosphorus, cobalt and tritium in the refiner and make sure it's set to only build 2 magno gold and then refine it. Once you have 2 magno gold, put them in your inventory and take out any remaining phosphorus or tritium from the refiner. Then refine all of the cobalt. Once you've refined your cobalt, put 246 carbon into the refiner and refine that. Take that out and put 480 ferrite dust into the refiner. Once you have 480 pure ferrite, put that back into the input and refine that to 240 magnetized ferrite. Now delete the large refiner to get the items back. Craft 6 magnetic resonators, 3 antimatter, 1 antimatter housing, 1 warp cell, which you should store in your ship, and 2 quantum computers. Now install the survey device into your multi-tool and fix the advanced launch system in your ship. Claim the rewards from Auto Diagnostics 2 and install the jetpack and life support upgrades. Now fix the pressurization capsule in your ship. There's no need to claim the rewards from Auto Diagnostics 4. We don't need nanites. Use the survey device to find the nearest mineral hotspot. Once at the hotspot, build one mineral extractor, one biofuel reactor, and then connect them by a wire. Then fill the biofuel reactor with 5 carbon. This will last 3 hours, so just make sure you come back after an hour and everything will be good. If you can't build this here because there's already one there, then just take the resources from the one that's there and you won't need to build on yourself. If you cannot build there because it's out of your base radius, but it's quite close, go into your visor and place a marker at the location. Walk back to your base until the build menu allows you to build stuff like walls. Once it does, stand there and enter the build camera. In the build camera, move towards the marker you've just made. If you can't get all the way there, double tap the button that allows you to go into the build camera. This will recenter the build camera to your current location, so you can go further. Once you get to the location, use the build camera to build the mineral extractor, biofuel reactor, connect them, and then walk over to it and charge a biofuel reactor with 5 carbon. The game uses where your character is standing and not where the build camera is in order to work out what base it's building from. Be sure to make a note of where this is. If, if possible, use one session and keep the marker at the mineral extractor. You will now be traveling around looking for water while completing passive milestones. Before leaving your ship, if your ship has a chart and save waypoint node, then be sure to use it. Get in your Minotaur and start walking toward any water. You'll need to cover 6500U in this Minotaur in order to trigger the cross-country milestone. The passive achievements to complete while you are looking for water are to destroy 10 hazardous flora, enter a building at a point of interest during a storm, to excavate and gather from 5 buried cache, and to excavate and gather 6 ancient bones. Once you have found water, go into the water until you find a heat vent. Gather 3 crystal sulphide from around this heat vent. Also be sure to scan fauna in the water until the complete fauna triggers. If you also have not managed to trigger Botanist, be sure to scan Underwater Flora just to finish that off. Once you have gone 6500U in an Exocraft, you can now ditch the Minotaur and start walking to complete the Pilgrim, if you haven't already done so. With Cross Country done, the Pilgrim done, and the other passive milestones completed, you can now return to your ship. At your ship, fix the Waveform Engine ship tech. And before leaving, be sure to check your Mineral Extractor. If it has not yet been an hour, so it hasn't got any resources in it, you can return to your base later to collect from that. If it has been an hour, just collect the 200 plus resources to complete Industrialist. Jump in your ship and take off, but don't yet leave the planet. 
If you have not just passively completed The Hills Are Alive, which requires you to stand on land at 950 U above sea level, focus the achievement and fly towards mountaintops. With the achievement focused, you can see your height above sea level, even when in ship, so you can tell if the mountain peak is above 950 U. If it isn't, find another mountain in your ship, fly to it and see if it's above 950 U. When you find one that is, just land and get out to complete the milestone. Now check the navigator achievement. If you have zero or one of them, be sure to scan with your ship across the surface until you find buildings that have the chart and save waypoint. When you find them, land, chart and save, and repeat until you have two out of the four required. Now fly up into space, completing liftoff. Select the rendezvous one milestone and pulse towards a waypoint. When approaching, look for combos to denote where the actual hoop building is. Land at the exotic planet hoop building to trigger the achievement. Be sure to chart and save the waypoint. Now get back in your ship and pulse to the space station. Entering the space station will trigger welcome aboard. Get out of your ship in the space station and go to the cartographer. Exchange navigation data for five or more distress signal maps. Those are the ones with little white circles over red. Get back in your ship and fly to the nearest planet from the space station. Focus the acrobat milestone and fly very low to the surface and continue boosting. Try not to hit anything otherwise it may slow you down to reset the timer or boost you a little high above the ground which will also reset the timer. Once you have 15 continuous seconds of flying very low in boost and have triggered the acrobat milestone, use the distress signal maps until you find an abandoned building, then fly to it. When you land, immediately find the chart and save waypoint and interact with it. This should complete the navigator. Then go to one side of the building and shoot one of the eggs and immediately pick up the larval core. Once you have it, jump over the building so the enemies are left the other side and then shoot two more eggs and pick them up. Make your way as soon as you can and as quickly as you can back to your ship with your three larval cores. Use them with the items you already have to fix the frame shift catapult and then charge it with the warp cell. Now head up into space and warp to the Rendezvous 2 system. This will trigger Interstellar. Lastly, focus a Rendezvous 2 milestone and pulse toward it. On approach, just stop a little above the marker and look around. You should easily see an archive very close to the marker. Land at the archive to complete Rendezvous 2. This should be the last milestone you completed, in which case you have completed the Cartographer's Expedition Redux and you've got your Golden Vector. Be sure to go to the final phase which has all of the five phase rewards as well as the final reward and claim all of those. Remember, if you didn't go back to get your 200 minerals from the extractor, then just go to the space station and teleport to your base and get those 200 to complete the last milestone. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments. Have a great new year.